Hello everyone, I apologize for the late podcast, I wasn't feeling all that great yesterday, Um, but that brings me to our topic today. I wanted to talk about spiritual purging symptoms and when they show up and what to maybe expect and how to kind of manage them. Um, So spiritual purging usually comes through whenever you're going through some sort of a spiritual awakening period. I've noticed over the years that um, these awakenings have actually happened in like groups of people so the twin flames always have their um collective purge uh the ones who are awakened the ones who are conscious i should say not awakened but uh they have like a set in stone kind of symptomatic thing that they go through depending on what frequency you're at but we are all twin flames so we also all go through spiritual awakenings as souls waking up to the fifth fifth dimension and higher correct so That being said, you will go through a dark night of a soul process, meaning that you will shed bits and parts of your ego. Now, the first one is brutal. The first conscious one that you will ever have is like depression central. It is like the most, the biggest crying fit you'll ever have in your life. Um, For most people, it's just overwhelming. It's a lot. You realize a lot about yourself. You realize a lot about other people. It's such an eye opener and you can't ever see the world the same ever again. Um, as you go on, it gets a lot easier. You learn how to manage with these things. You notice that it's actually normal and that a lot more people go through it than you would have thought originally. Um, I'm on a point in my journey that when spiritual awakenings come or I go through, uh, dark nights of the soul, it's more so me now going through symptoms, (laughs) of spiritual awakenings and acknowledging anytime my ego tries to kind of push through in certain places or tries to take over acknowledging what's my twins and what's my own and what's my ego and where is it coming from and I try to solve it just then and there so it's also helped me understand that I don't need to like wait for it all to just bubble up and have this one big session of purge dark night of the soul I'm not saying it doesn't happen for me it's just they're little blips now more so than like giant waves of crisis mode, you know? Um, so when you go through a spiritual awakening, that's when you're learning how to balance out the ego or the lower self with the higher self or the soul. So you're learning how to integrate your higher self here on earth, but you have to go through it in steps because if you got all your lessons all at once, what some people do, but if you get all your lessons all at once, you're gonna lose your you're gonna lose your mind, which is why some people have actually lost their minds um in society standards in the way that they are viewed by society um but when you go through these things uh you definitely definitely i think the first one that i'm going to say is that typically you go through some sort of an emotional or physical change like it just gets so drastic so emotionally you feel like you're a lot more emotional things are are are, you know triggering you a lot more or you're more susceptible to joy maybe oneness that type of thing and then on the flip side the physical symptoms which is what i get that's like one of my normal spiritual awakening um symptoms and you'll you'll learn this through yourself um that one's really high for me so that's what i've been going through lately It'll feel like a cold, you know, you'll get sick, your throat may be acting up, you might get headaches, you might get um, body aches and pains, like your chakras are getting all this new downloaded information, and you're integrating all these different energies, you could be super tired, those are all things that I've gone through, um, and still go through, and I don't think it'll ever stop, (laughs) Um, when it comes to spiritual awakenings, the relationships around you are going to start changing as well, so people... Some people will leave your life. Some people will, like, bring up things about, like, you're not, maybe you're not acting nice anymore. Or, like, you know, why aren't we aligned side by side? Like, your vibrational frequencies are changing. So if some people can't come with you on this path, then it'll be obvious and you'll be able to see what's happening. That being said, also, everybody walks down their own path. So you might actually understand that everybody has come here to, on Earth to have their own spiritual awakening and to have their own journey. So you try and help somebody else see what you see isn't necessarily going to work in your favor, nor is it actually going to help you in any way because you're trying to drag somebody along who doesn't actually understand it for themselves. Let them go. If they come back, it's definitely because they've reached a vibrational frequency where they can either teach you the next lesson or they're here to stay, right? Um, Synchronicities will pop up. 
everything not everything but it'll be a lot more synchronistic you'll see how things are being connected and you'll be able to draw a line from your past to where you are now without any regrets with that okay the regret thing will take time <laughs> but you'll be able to draw a line through everything um and understand why you made it to where you are but that being said it'll be a lot easier to let go because you no longer fear death you no longer fear endings you no longer because death is a, is a construct of the mind we don't actually die, um, but we die many times throughout our lives before we actually ascend to the spirit plane, right? So letting go and being able to, like, I want to say sh shedding the ego is, is easy. The ego is the one that's going to be fearful and insecure about it. But you will understand when the time is right for you, what you need to let go of and why. And you'll be able to stand firm in it. Um, the quicker you can do that, the easier it is to ascend to the next frequency. You'll be able to see through people's like energetic emotions. Um, you'll be able to see souls for what they actually are at a certain point. Auras will come into play at a certain point. Your gifts come in when you are ready for them and not before. So if you're sitting there like, oh my god, an alarm go off. But if you're sitting there going... Why am I not clairvoyant or audio sentient or clear audience or um, clear sentient or all any of them? You already are. It's just it takes time for these things to come in into your awareness because you're so focused on the rest of the world and what your ego actually wants compared to what your higher self is. Right. Like your whole life is going to change, people. You committed to the path. Your whole life is now going to change. <laughs> Um, but you definitely become a more compassionate being, not only to your, your others, but also to yourself. Um, but that being said, like, you don't want to be positive all the time. Like, you'll understand that there is a time and a place for people to have lower vibrational emotions as well as your own lower vibrational emotions because it gets you through it, helps you understand life more, yourself more, other people more. But you won't necessarily hold on to these things anymore. Like I said, it'll be easier to let go of. Um, what else could I give you? I feel like I've given you a lot. Um, yeah, like your behaviors will change. I think I might have mentioned that, but you'll notice that even in yourself, regardless of you're conscious of it or not, you'll start changing as a being. Um, so pay attention to when those things do come up because they're trying to let you know what's up. Uh, and then, yeah, because of that, you also become a lot more observant and aware of everything around you. So you might be able to see like things in a room. Like, I don't know if you can, like, a lot of you might have started seeing spirits, um, like, things in your peripheral that you, like, really didn't pay attention to before. Um, you might be questioning, like, your habits a little bit more and, like, kind of interrogating yourself in, like, a positive and, and healthy way about why you are the way you are. Um, you know, you might remember things you've done in the past and it might be unpleasant, but you really, really will realize that you were the one who was accountable for your own suffering and here's a lesson I need to learn and this is how I step through it. And the more that you are a, a humble enough to get through these emotions, the better it is going to be while you awaken to the new you. And I can't even say new you because it's been you the whole time. Technically, you lived as somebody you were not this whole time. And that alone can trigger a lot of people into dark nights of the soul and depressive cycles. Um... Because it's like, what do you mean I haven't been myself this entire time? And mind you, that's where I say, slow down. If you're not there, you're not there. Take time for yourself. You're on a divine path. Things happen to you when they're supposed to happen to you. Not before, not after. Okay? I am i can't stress that one enough. The last thing that I'm going to give you is that you will feel alone for a period of your journey. You might want to be alone. You might withdraw from, from things because those things no longer fit and now you are trying to find a new version of you. It might get frustrating. You might try to go out of your way to create things. You might um, venture down the wrong path a couple times because you have to learn lessons down that so you can stand firmer in your truth about what you need. But the universe will always, always have you. But when you are an empath and you are going down a spiritual awakening period you feel like you're like by yourself for a while because that frequency that you see in the world no longer stabilizes the frequency in which you're reaching to i hope that all made sense it was a little fast i am sorry i wanted to get all that in there in the time that we had 333 when i said that for anybody whose angel numbers are really really there for them um 
But yeah, I am so grateful that we spent this time. And as always, take care of yourself and I hope you heal. Bye.